It's a new thing we're doing here. This mic's not turning on and stuff. Hey, how's everyone doing today? A great group of people here coming here at Leesburg, Florida. We are excited to be here normally on Saturday. You guys are in for a very special treat because normally on Saturday you only get to see 50 of our Elite Series pros. But because this event was pushed back one day due to weather, we're going to finish on Championship Monday. But you guys get the full field here today, 103 anglers. So I need you to make lots and lots of noise for all of them. Can you guys do that? An incredible tournament we've had, much different than many people predicted coming into this event, but so much on the line. It's great to be back here. Two events this week, back-to-back -back events in the great state of Florida. After this event, we're going to head up the road to Palatka, Florida for the St. John's River. Always a great event. This is a very special event because it's our 499th event that Rick Clun has ever competed in. Let's hear it for that, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, next week will be his 500th event here in his 50th season of competition. So I need you to make lots and lots of noise for Rick Clun when he comes up here. Speaking of which, Rick's going to spend some time right over there in that blue tent after he weighs in. He's got some great stuff. You've got to swing by there and check it out. But who's ready to meet some anglers? All right, before we can meet any anglers, we need to bring out the man who's going to weigh all our fish. This week, Lisa Talmadge is here, my partner normally on the stage. She's doing okay just hurt her back a little bit, so the good news is Chris Bowes, our Director of Tournament Operations, lives right here in the great state of Florida, so welcome him, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Chris Bowes. We'll get the scales all set up. we got a bunch of anglers backstage chomping at the bit to weigh in here today. This is the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain of Lakes, and we are so happy to be back here. The Elite Series has been here three previous times. This is the fourth time, and it's going to be a lot of fun. You guys ready to start this weigh-in? You ready? ready? Chris is ready. One more time. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get ready to weigh up our very first angler, a four-time angler of the year, the 2020 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Get loud for Texas's Clark Wendlet. Six pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. Need to get in that top 50, 16 pounds, 7 ounces today with 23 pounds, 5 ounces. What a difference a day makes. And Clark Wendell moves all the way to second place, just 14 ounces short of the overall lead. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let me hear it for Clark Wendlet. Clark, 23 pounds, 5 ounces. What a difference a day makes. What changed? I didn't go back to the place. I told you yesterday I'm not going back to the place I fished the first day. I had a good practice there, but it just didn't work out. So I just literally just went fishing. I picked a bank and started fishing, and things just kind of snowballed into a really good day. A great day and a great rally. You're going to be part of this tomorrow by the looks of things. We'll keep our fingers crossed and find out how it works out. He won the last time we were here. I need you to get loud for two-time Elite Series champion from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Buddy Gross. Buddy Gross had 10 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Trying to get inside that top 55 fish today. 5'5 five, five gives you 16 pounds, 4 ounces, and unfortunately a much different tournament for you this time around, buddy. Yeah, I was catching single fish as big as that whole bag last time we were here. I just didn't get the bites. I mean, there's some things are changed, and uh, still a great fishery, and it's coming on strong. I caught a lot of little fish all week long, so I know there's going to be a, a big wave of big ones in the next few years. But it's going to be a great lake. Thank you all for having us. See you next time. Always great to have you here, buddy. The 20, 2023 Bassmaster Classic champion, the great Canadian snow leopard, Gussie Jeff Gustafson. 14 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Needs 914 to take the lead. He's done that. 14 pounds, 3 ounces. And with 28 pounds, 8 ounces. Jeff Gustafson moves into the lead of the Lawrence, a Bassmaster Elite on the Harris chain. Gussie, great tournament so far. I mean, fairly consistent, and uh, you're going to mostly, I would I mean, if you're not fishing tomorrow, there's going to be a lot of grumpy people. Yeah, I hopefully, I should be good for tomorrow, I think. Uh, it, it was pretty stressful because the morning's real key out here. The morning, all week for me anyway, the morning, first two hours have been. Uh, Fishing's been way better, and it gets tougher as the day goes on. But uh, 
Uh, I had a slow start and just kind of picked away. I think I caught all five fish came on a different bait. It was a lot of junk fishing. I got a couple out deep and maybe maybe be able to expand on that a little bit more tomorrow. But uh, but yeah, it's it's fun. You catch a lot of fish, but it's just it's uh, it's it's a workout to get those bigger ones. Great day too. Keep it rolling, brother. We'll see you tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Alabama. Get loud for David Gaston. Got to see him on Bass Live a little bit today. Had 20 pounds and 3 ounces yesterday. He needs 8 pounds and 6 ounces to take the lead here today. He's got 5 fish, 11 pounds, 5 ounces with 31 pounds, 8 ounces. David Gaston moves into the lead at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain. David Gaston fished his very first Bassmaster Classic just a few weeks ago. And uh, with 31 pounds, 8 ounces, you don't have to sweat it out and worry whether you're fishing tomorrow. You know you're going to be part of this. Yeah, um, I crashed and burned today. I thought I was going to catch them a lot better than what I did. The wind kind of shifted directions today and was coming from a different way than what I needed to. Boogered stuff up a little bit, so I was managed to scrap up what I caught today and hopefully I can do something better tomorrow. Great start to things. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring an Elite Series champion, a four-time classic qualifier from Japan, Takumi Ito. Four pounds, nine ounces yesterday. Needs a better day today. Needs 712 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there. He's got five fish, 12 pounds even. With 16 pounds and nine ounces, he moves into 20th place. Some valuable progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points going the way of Takumi Ito. Sixteen pounds, nine ounces, probably not enough to go fishing tomorrow, but you got some valuable angler of the year points. Oh yeah, so uh this tournament I will find a Florida Bass uh, Disneyland. But I couldn't find that uh Florida so very close now, real Disney World, right? So I will go to the real Disney World tomorrow. <laughs> You get to go. Yeah, so I think the morning coming here and the afternoon, I will go to the real Disney World. Maybe fun. If I get permission to not be away, and can I go with you? Oh, yes, of course, we go. So because a Jap a Japanese Disney Disneyland is uh, very small, but U.S. is a huge, I think I need to in a whole week. So I, I, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, every day, I will go to the to Disney World. All right, I will see you there. Before you leave us, he's getting our Crush City Monster bag from the last event, 39 pounds and an ounce. That, of course, on Lake Fork. <laughs> and, and, and with that money, you can go to Disneyland for half a day. Just half a day. <laughs> and and you've got to buy the passes from illegal people. I mean... <laughs> Next up, we have a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Ava, Missouri. Let me hear it for Cody Huff. 17 pounds, 3 ounces. He doesn't want to go to Disneyland. He wants to go fishing tomorrow. Five fish to add that here today. 9 pounds, 14 ounces with 27 pounds and an ounce. He moves into third place. And you're going fishing tomorrow, so you cannot go to Disneyland with Takumi. That is great news. I am real sorry I have to miss that. It would probably be fun with Taku, but uh, I'm going to have to pass. I'm going to go out there, and uh, maybe we'll catch some huge ones. We didn't do it today, but we've got tomorrow. Always great to have you here. He's a two-time Elite Series champion from Greenwood, South Carolina, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. Had 11 pounds, 14 ounces as of this morning. Let's get him inside that cut. The cut just over 12 pounds at 9.8, gives him 21 pounds, 6 ounces to move into 10th place. And unless things change outside of the projected cut, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. Today was kind of a weird day. I was just covering a lot of water shallow, and... Uh... I've made a bunch of decisions today, and they all worked for one pound and seven ounces. <laughs> it worked. I caught fish all day, and they were all the same size. I don't know. It was a weird day. I felt like I was doing the right thing all day and just never caught a big one. But that's Florida, so we'll go uh, hopefully get the big bites all at St. John's because we didn't get them this week. Well, looking forward to seeing you down the road in St. John's River. 11-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's an Elite Series champion from Brookville, Indiana. Dollar Bill Owen. <laughs> Eight pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. 
And he's 3.7 to get inside the cut. Currently 13 pounds, 6 ounces with 22 pounds, 5 ounces. He's inside the cut in 7th place currently. Needs to stay inside the top 50 to get into a very rare semifinal Sunday. And, of course, the top 10 fish on Championship Monday. 22 pounds, 5 ounces. A rally today. Not sure it's going to be enough, though. Yeah, it's uh, you got to catch them every day. You know, you got to get a big bite. Today, I was fortunate to get two good bites. Um, yesterday, I just didn't get bit. And uh, in Florida, we all know if you don't got a big one, you're in trouble. Um, but I got to love, thank this crowd uh, for coming out. Um, you know, typically when uh, we fish on Saturday, we pick a kid out of the crowd and give him a Bassmaster membership. That's supposed to be tomorrow, but this might be the only Saturday I make all year. So we're going to pick a kid out of the crowd for a Bassmaster membership. I see that little kid right there with that Bass Pro Shout hat on right there, or shirt right there. Yeah, you, buddy. He's going to get a Bassmaster membership. You know, when I was his age, all I wanted to do was stand on this stage, and Bassmaster Magazine will help you do that. Um, but like I said, uh, we're going to get you a Bassmaster membership, bud. If I don't make it to go fishing tomorrow, come over and see me at the Yamaha booth, talk about my Express. Typically, if I'm at that booth, I don't want to talk about fishing, but I want to talk about fishing because I don't know what I'm doing out there. See you guys. Always great to have you here. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. 14 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 7 pounds, 3 ounces with 21 pounds, 11 ounces. You move into 10th place and may get a very rare, well, I was going to say the weekend off, but you did work today. So you made it through to Saturday. Unfortunately, Sunday not going to be in the cards for you this time around. Not going to be in the cards. You know, it was, the hair chain had my number this week. You know, I never dialed anything in. And then I had a really good day yesterday, and I lost two good ones. I needed those to land those two good ones to keep me in it today. Today, I was just out of rhythm. I don't know. I uh, zigged when I should have zagged. Um, I feel like I was fishing behind people, and then I just never got in that rhythm. But that's fishing. You cannot catch them every single day, and I just showed that. That was five for seven pounds. That was – that's fishing. But big shout-out to my family for being here, my lovely wife at home, my mother-in-law, my grandma, everybody watching. This is an amazing crowd. Happy to be here on Saturday, enjoying this Florida sunshine. Let's take it on to St. John's. Looking forward to seeing you there. A four-time Bassmaster winner of the back-to-back -back classic champion from Maiden, North Carolina, Hank Cherry. Hank Cherry with 15 pounds, 12 ounces yesterday. 15-13 will get him in the lead here today. 10 pounds, 8 ounces gives him 26 pounds, 4 ounces. You move into fourth place. So you're going to be fishing tomorrow anyways. Yeah, today was fun. Caught a lot of fish. I went through the uh, Dora Canal Carnival. That was kind of crazy. Carnival? It took, this morning, it took like 12 minutes going in, and I should have had popcorn and something on the way out, because it was, you see some, you need to go hang out there one time and just pay attention and watch. You see some strange stuff, and you hear all kinds of music, and some other things we really won't talk about on stage, but all in all, though, it was. I am so intrigued right now. <laughs> that it is. It's like the floating, the, the Redneck Yacht Club, times seven. It's, it's serious. I mean, they're, it's, they're good people, but like trying to work, trying to go, and they're woo, and crank it up. To, you just got to see. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's kind of like a Bigfoot. You just got to see it to believe it. So I got to tell you. So, but it was fun. Had a great day. Thank, thanks to the veterans of the military for doing what you do. That's why we get to come out and chase the fish. Uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, if I get to go back out tomorrow, it'll be another ride at the carnival. See what happens. I don't know if I'll ever see Bigfoot, but I am seeing that. I guarantee you that much. A former Forest Wood Cup champion from Alabama, Clint Davis. Clint Davis had 8.13 yesterday. 8.13 yesterday. Today, five fish for eight pounds even. Gives him 16.13. And unfortunately, not going to make it into uh, round two. But um, St. John's River ahead, and that's always a fun fishery. Yeah, I hope it treats me like it usually does. Uh, this place definitely treated me like it normally does. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes next week. All right. We'll see you there. A three-time Bassmaster winner from Maryland. Get loud for Brian Schmidt. Had 11 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. Five pounds, 13 ounces, gives you 17 pounds, 12 ounces. 
not going to make the top 50 this time around. And that, I mean, it hurts a little more. We're anywhere where there, there is grass. You're generally part of it. You know, yesterday on stage, I told you I was going to go to do a whole different thing and, and, you know, really focus in on a big bag. I actually left and went to the Sabine River. So if you guys don't know, the Sabine River, like, that's a really good bag. But anyway, here's what's going on. Every, every piece of equipment I got is really good. Everything I have in my boat, Brian Schmidt is just not figuring them out. That's the bottom line. It's all on me. I'm not going to make any excuses. I didn't find them this week. There's plenty of grass out here, and I should have I found them. So hats off to the guys that caught them. My wife and everybody back home love you, and we're going to regroup and get ready for St. John's. All right. We'll see you there. Safe traveled. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Corbin, Kentucky, Mike Huff. 15 pounds and 9 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 10 pounds an ounce gives him 25 pounds and 10 ounces. He moves into fifth place. And it should be enough to fish tomorrow, but uh, it's not enough to relax for the next little while here. No, I'm going to be sweating it. That was uh, I feel fortunate to have what I had. It was a really, really tough day, but hopefully I can get out there tomorrow uh, if I make it and have a better day. Wish you luck. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina, the baby shark, Shane LeHue. 12 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. Seven pounds, 13 ounces with 20 pounds, seven ounces. Moving to 16th place and uh, unfortunately not going to be working tomorrow by the looks of things. No, we are going to be driving to the St. John's. I ran the skier Yamaha all over the lake and uh, tried a couple different lakes, actually. Might have ran around a little too much. Usually you don't do that in Florida. But uh, we'll move on. I'm absolutely loving the weather here. Uh, I've always loved the Harris chain. I still do. It uh, just was a little angry at me this week for whatever reason. The only cool thing was the uh, Baby Shark song today. All right, very cool. Really cool. It matched. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year and Elite Series champion from Wisconsin, Jay Shakurat. Speaking of cool weigh-in songs, 13 pounds, 11 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Eight pounds an ounce with 21 pounds, 12 ounces in 12th place now, but I don't know how it's all going to shake out. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to slide in there this time, but either way, I had a fun time on the Harris chain. Uh, caught them the way I like to. You know, I caught all my fish flipping. I caught them all flipping a rage bug to reeds. Uh, so it's a fun way to fish. I didn't get any big bites today, just a lot of the same size fish. So hopefully next time we can get them. But St. John's is coming up, two days of practice. Uh, not much history there for me, so hopefully we can catch them there. Looking forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. Representing the Bass Nation, it's Doobie time. Get loud for Tim Doobie. Had a big day yesterday, 18 pounds, 2 ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. Nine pounds, 13 ounces, a tougher day, but with 27 pounds, 15 ounces, he should have secured his spot into semifinal Sunday. 27-15, I mean, a tougher day today, but should be good enough to get back out there again tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I went out with the goal today to catch 10 pounds and uh, make the cut and then go look for big fish. Well, I caught the last one about five minutes ago. So tomorrow the goal is to catch 20. That way I'll go catch 20. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A five-time classic qualifier from South Carolina, Todd Otten. Todd Otten had 12 pounds, 11 ounces yesterday, so he was on the right side of the cut after day number one. Let's keep him there. Five fish here today, 12 pounds, 7 ounces, with 25 pounds, 2 ounces. I'm thinking he's going to be on the right side of the cut in seventh place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for Ranger Pro Todd Otten. 25 pounds, 2 ounces, and uh, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, I hope so. I mean, uh, I'm starting to like Florida in April. You know, every time I come here and it's cold and everything, I never catch nothing. But uh, it's been fun. Caught a lot of fish this week. So I hope we can go out again tomorrow and catch some more fish. Would love to see that happen for you. We'll fire through this way in as quick as possible. I know you're going to get loud for a former Classic champion and former Angler of the Year from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Go, Ike, for Mike Iaconelli. 
13 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday. It looks like a good day here again today. Needs 18.4 to take the lead. 16.7 moves into second place with 29 pounds and 12 ounces. 29 pounds, 12 ounces, and look out, Iconelli sitting in second place at the Lawrence, a Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain of Lakes in beautiful Florida. 29 pounds, 12 ounces, and boy, throw your hat at the midway point of this tournament. You are in contention, Ike. I love it when you make it into the weekend. Are we in Florida? Yes. All right, just making sure. Uh, bad track record here historically, but... Man, I'm having fun. You know, this season I've not had a good start. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm at the end of my career. I've, I've probably got a few years left. And, you know, my wife and I talked, said, just go and have some fun. You know, you're at the end of your career. Have fun. Having a lot of fun here. Uh, looking forward to going back out. Also want to give a shout out to my wife, Becky, who captained our son Vegas today in a tournament back home in New Jersey. He's 13 years old. And 20 minutes into the tournament, water's 47 degrees. He fell in. That's right. He's following in my footsteps. He's crazy. He's wild. But the good news is, put dry clothes on. He went out, caught three keepers, got some points. Never give up. I, I didn't give up on it. You see there? He's a two-time Bassmaster winner and eight-time classic qualifier. The Zal Dangerous one, Chris Zaldane. Chris Zaldane had 10 pounds, 7 ounces yesterday. Needs 2-1 to get inside the cut. Currently, more to stay there. Obviously got that. 12 pounds, 6 ounces with 22 pounds, 13 ounces. You move into 11th place, and uh, I think yesterday might come to haunt you. Yeah, it's um, looking at Bass Track, it's going to be close, but you know how that how that goes. Um, yeah, I made a, about an hour and 20-minute run to my area, and once I finally got settled in, I had some bites, but I did everything I could. I broke one off, lost one, so that's going to haunt me for sure. But uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out. This is an awesome fishery. Normally, uh, just tough conditions this week. Can't wait to come back. Thank you, guys. Always great to have you here. He's a lead series champion and an FLW Tour winner from Arkansas, Stetson Blaylock. 13 pounds, 4 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 9 pounds, 2 ounces gives him 22 pounds, 6 ounces. Not sure if it's going to be enough. Probably not. It's actually more than I thought I had. Uh, but today was just one of those days. I, I could not get a good bite. It's funny because I had a tough practice, and then yesterday I caught a whole bunch of two-plus-pound fish, and then today I could not catch a two-plus-pounder to save my life. Had one on that got off that's probably going to cost me the cut this week. But uh, on to the next one. You know, that's part of the game. It was tough on me, but somebody's going to win. Always great to have you here. Safe travels to St. John's River. We'll see you there. He's a lead series rookie, already made one top 10 from Tennessee, Robert G. 14 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday, 5 fish here today. 10 pounds, 6 ounces, gives him 24 pounds, 14 ounces, puts you in ninth place currently. Incredible rookie class again this year, and Robert G is a big part of that. Made it top 10 to his first Elite Series event on Toledo Bend. 24 pounds, 14 ounces, sitting in ninth place. So you're in a good spot now, but it's going to be uncomfortable for the next little while, hoping you get in there. Oh, it for sure will be. Uh, I don't know if I have enough. I haven't looked at Bass Track or anything, but I'm going to have my fingers crossed, my toes crossed, everything, just to hopefully slide in the cut. We hope it's enough to get you back out there tomorrow. We'll try to fire through this quickly for you. Let's bring out a three-time classic qualifier, the Prince of Palaka, Cliff Prince. 12 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 8 pounds, 2 ounces, gives him 20 pounds, 7 ounces, puts you in 24th place. And, and the silver lining is... You, you get to go home early and get ready for next week, which I know you're really looking forward to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next week for sure. I just wish I'd have caught a little better, caught them a little better today, but I just never had any good buys today and uh, look forward to next week. Looking forward to seeing you there. Go make it happen. A two time Elite Series champion, a 13 time classic qualifier from Salem, Virginia, the cruise missile, John Cruz. Nine pounds in an ounce. Yesterday, five fish to add to that. John Cruz, a tireless, 
Well, I'm trying to say a word that won't come out of my mouth. The Crusader for autism awareness. Seven pounds, 12 ounces today gives you 16, 13. Unfortunately, not going to be fishing this weekend. But uh, as I said yesterday, thank you for everything you do for autism awareness. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been called worse, so I appreciate that. I didn't know what was going to come out of your mouth at that it moment. It kind of simple so in my brain, but my brain cross-threaded. It happens at times. <laughs> right, because metric or whatever. Uh, yeah, Canadians, you know. Um, Why snowbirds go home before now. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, um, you know, it is April. It is Autism Awareness Month. We talked about it yesterday. I gave you the long explanation. If you go to, if you, if you, it's a year of the caretaker this year, which means Two caretakers of autistic people are going to get a free vacation anywhere they want to go inside of the continental U.S. Uh, because of uh, Winter's Travel Foundation, they're donating two trips. So go to, winter, uh, go to missilebaits.com, nominate anybody. You can nominate yourself, nominate uh, whoever. That is going to end at the end of the tournament, the uh, St. John's tournament. Uh, so from now until then, and then after that, we're going to have a bunch of auction items on there as well to help raise some more mon uh, money for various autism charities. So uh, so go out there, and if you want the wristbands or the decals, you can get, get those on missilebaits.com. Uh, 100% of the proceeds goes to autism charities. So I uh, just appreciate Bassmaster and everybody giving me a, um, the opportunity to let everybody know about autism awareness and what we're doing. Thank you for everything you do. He's an Elite Series rookie, but he's already caught a million dollars casting for bass from Alabama, Logan Parks. 11 pounds and an ounce yesterday. Five fish here today is enough to rally him inside the cut. Nine pounds, five ounces with 20 pounds, six ounces. He moves into 25th place and looks like you get the next couple days off. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you're right. You know, the Harris chain has always been a nemesis of mine. I uh, don't really enjoy coming here but the good news is normally when i come here i don't catch a lot of fish and they're small this time i caught a lot of fish but they were small so at least i got to set the hook a bunch i got a beautiful fiance that came to see me and i get to spend an extra day with her enjoy some time off we look forward to seeing st john's river a two-time elite series champion won the first event of the season from japan kyoya fujita 10 pounds three ounces yesterday Today, five fish, 11 pounds, six ounces with 21 pounds and nine ounces. He moves into 20th place currently. The projected cut after day number one was just over 12 pounds a day. So unfortunately, Kyoya Fujita going to be on the wrong side of that by the looks of things. But uh, five nice ones, but probably not enough to fish tomorrow. Uh, yeah, no, maybe no. So... Uh, very tough today. So Florida Lakes is difficult for me. So I want to practice Florida Lakes. Yeah. Well, you'll get an opportunity to spend a little more time on some Florida Lakes, and we'll see you at the St. John's River. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a five-time classic qualifier from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Corey Johnston. Five fish for Corey Johnston here today. Had 12 pounds, 6 ounces yesterday. Let's get him in the cut. 12, 13 gives him 25 pounds, three ounces. You move into eighth place and should be going to work tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. You know, I had a fun day out there. I made a long run and uh, went flipping all day today. Uh, so I'm hoping I can get out there tomorrow and do the same thing and hopefully capitalize on a couple big ones. Always great to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Team Toyota's Matt Airy. Matt Airy had 12 pounds, 2 ounces yesterday. Five to add to that here today. Five spunky ones. 10 pounds, 8 ounces gives him 22 pounds, 10 ounces. You move into 14th place. That's all right. I would have cleaned up after you. 14th place currently, but unfortunately, I don't know if it's enough. Probably not. You know, it was a grind out there once again. We still caught a bunch of fish, getting a lot of bites. The fish just, uh, just don't have a lot of weight on them right now. So, uh... Um, you know, we'll uh, sit backstage and uh, pray we make it. <laughs> Always great to have you here. Regardless, we'll see you up the road. An elite series of rookies had one top ten and the other. An 11th place finish from Alabama, Wesley Gore. Not this week. <laughs> Not this week, he says. The streak is about to end. 9-9 nine, nine yesterday, 7-5 today. 16 pounds, 14 ounces. You move into 38th place currently. And um, 
You don't got to worry about it. You might as well go hit the food trucks and start enjoying the festivities. Uh, that's what we plan on doing. Uh, we actually had a better day as far as getting bites today. I probably caught 40, I mean, but every one of them was that size. It's pretty impressive. Uh, I caught them from 6 inches all the way out to 12, 14 foot this week, and, I mean, it just fell apart. I really wasn't ever around nothing, but we just kept our head down and kept fishing. But I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank all the people that support me. I couldn't do it without you all, and we'll see you off the next one. Always great to have you here. Look forward to seeing St. John's River. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier and Elite Series champion from Temple, Texas, Frank the Tank Tally. Seven pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. Looks like a better day today. Is it enough to get him in the cut? Five fish for 12 pounds an ounce gives him 19.15. He moves into 29th place currently. Shy of the projected cut, but going to earn himself some valuable progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. So, unfortunately, a little shy of the cut this time around, Frank. The projected cut, but it looks like uh, you've earned yourself some points and salvaged this tournament. Yeah, Dave, looking back last night after that horrible day yesterday where I couldn't catch nothing over a pound and a half or a pound and a quarter, uh, I was like, just go out and try to salvage some points. And I finally got bit by a three-pounder. I mean, it's taken only about five days out here to do it, but... You know, that's the way it is. I'm ready to get the back to Palatka and then off to back to Texas. So let's get this Palatka. I got to break this Florida jinx. I'll be honest with you. I can't catch them here. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just too good looking. <laughs> you never know. It could, it could be. <laughs> a two-time Elite Series champion from Newport, New York, Jamie the Hammer Hartman. <laughs> Jamie Hartman at 614 yesterday. Five fish here today. It's like a little bit better day. 614 yesterday, today 12 pounds, 2 ounces. With 19 pounds even, he moves into 33rd place. And he too salvages some progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. 19 pounds even and kind of the same tail as Frank. Not going to be enough to fish tomorrow. But that at the end of the season, you gained a lot of points here today. Yeah, I stumbled yesterday really, really bad, man. That weather, that wind really got me. I practiced for that south and that southwest wind and it just didn't come we didn't fish the first day so it really it really hurt me i set myself up for the first two days but uh man this morning i went out and i had a mindset and i stayed calm and i just said i'm gonna bust a big bag today 10 minutes into it i got a four pounder i probably caught 30 to 35 fish today and never cracked one over two two i just, i don't get it and no matter what i did i tried to fish for big fish i caught so many fish today and just couldn't get another big bite but uh, we'll move on, get him at St. John's. Looking forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. He's an Elite Series champion from Raceland, Louisiana. Tyler Rivet. <laughs> 10 pounds, 15 ounces to start his tournament after day number one. He's got five fish here today. 11 pounds and an ounce gives him 22 pounds even. He moves into 19th place currently. Reminder, only the top 50 get to fish on semifinal Sunday. The top 10 on championship Monday at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain of Lakes. 22 pounds even. Not sure it's enough to get out there, but uh, get some good points and head to, to another good one next week. Yeah, yeah, I'll just salvage the day. I wasn't really catching anything for a while, and I picked up the big bite baits, a little wacky stick, and uh, went wacky worming and finished what I got. Went down to canals, caught a few, and... Uh, Man, it was, it was uh, tougher than what I thought, but I actually thought I'd catch 11 pounds each day. I was just hoping the cut would be about 11 pounds each day. So we're going to sit here and wait and hope hope we could get it. But like you said, hopefully we can go to St. John's and do a little better, make a top 10 again, because uh, those top 10s are pretty fun. But just want to thank my family and girlfriend for always coming here. Y'all the best. So uh, we're going to go get Casse tonight. Okay, enjoy yourself. I'll see you there. We have the 2022 Bassmaster Classic Champion from Dry Creek, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. Jason Christie at 14 pounds, 6 ounces yesterday. Unfortunately, he cannot get Casse tonight because he's working tomorrow for sure. Needs 17.3 to take the lead. 18 pounds, 7 ounces. With 32 pounds, 13 ounces, Jason Christie is your brand new leader. 32 pounds, 13 ounces. A great day one, but an even better day two. And you are rolling into semifinal Sunday. We're going to weigh this for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Going to take it over for the day for sure. Five pounds, three ounces. He's done that. You're leading the tournament, leading Phoenix Boats Big Bass for the day. And uh, you're going to work tomorrow. 
That's nice. It's been a while since I've worked on Sunday. You know, it's been five tournaments, uh, I think, since I've got to fish. You know, a lot of times we get up here and we don't catch them, and, and we're like, why? You know, today I was fishing, and things weren't going right. I had a shad spawn thing that was, it just wasn't going, and I got ready to move, and, and uh, I just had this lady on my mind, literally got goosebumps, and it just, it just kind of calmed me down, and I, I looked up, I said, I'm just going to fish from here, I'm just going to take off, and in an hour I had those fish, so, uh, you know, there's things that, some things we can control and some we can't, uh, today I didn't have anything to do with it, they just happened to jump on my bait, I hope they jump on it tomorrow too. When things like that happen, it gets scary around here, Christy, maybe stick around to Monday. I'd love to, you know, I, uh, I don't think I've, I've never won in Florida, and, and we're a long ways from that, but... I, I would love to win Florida. Love to see it happen for you. Wish you luck to see you back here tomorrow. A four-time Bassmaster winner from Longview, Texas, Lee Livesey. <laughs> Lee Livesey, hot off a top five finish at the Bassmaster Classic. At 14.4, yes, he needs 18.10 to take the lead. 15 pounds, 9 ounces with 29 pounds, 13 ounces. Lee Livesey moves into third place currently. Digging deep. In that Crush City weigh-in bag, get loud for Lee Livesey. 29 pounds, 13 ounces, sitting in third place. And at a tournament where consistency is very hard for a lot of our anglers to find, Lee Livesey has found it and finds himself in the top three, leading Phoenix Boats Big Bass for the day, five pounds, nine ounces, and... Uh, at a tournament where consistency is really hard to find, how are you figuring this out? Uh, just doing what I do, just junk fishing around, you know, 20-pound uh, 20, 20 fluorocarbon from Sunline and, and braid, you know, just fishing the bank, uh, junking around just like I'm good at, you know. Uh, this place is really good. I caught probably 40 or 50 fish yesterday. Not as many today. I lost a bunch today, but uh, figured some stuff out, uh, but this gives me the opportunity to make a move. You know, I've been fishing uh, Big Harris uh, used to just fishing around takeoff, so I think I'll just make a move tomorrow, run to a pop, go something like that, and see if we can move up the leaderboard. I'm going to have to catch a big bag to get back in the, the top ten, so that's what I'll have to do tomorrow. Go make it happen. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. An elite series at champion and a five-time classic qualifier from Mississippi, Brock Mosley. Brock Mosley had a big day yesterday, 19 pounds, 11 ounces, needs 13.3 to take the lead here today. 13 pounds even with 32 pounds and 11 ounces. He falls three ounces short of the overall lead, but Brock Mosley moves into second place at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain of Lakes. 32 pounds, 11 ounces. Not going to take the lead today, but you are in a great spot at the halfway point of this tournament. Yeah, I'm a lot higher than I thought I would be after my practice. It was, you know, a bad week of practice, probably in the top three I've ever had. And I've just been fishing all new water every day. And yesterday I got fortunate and run into three uh, big ones. Today I never run into any big ones, but all my fish were the same size. I caught good quality. So, uh, we're excited to go out there tomorrow and maybe run into a few big ones. I got to thank uh, Scott Canterbury and Scott Martin. I slung an ear coming out of the Dead River, coming in with 15 minutes to go, and threw all my fish in their boats, and they kind of tag team me back in. But uh, if it wasn't for them guys, I wouldn't be fishing tomorrow. But appreciate them guys, and uh, maybe we can go out there and catch them again tomorrow. Great stuff. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, a three-time Classic qualifier from North Carolina, Jake Whitaker. Had 14 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. Let's get him in the cut. I think he's definitely done that. 14 pounds, 9 ounces with 28 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into sixth place currently, and that's consistency right there. 48-14. Let's hear it for Jake Whitaker. Jake having a great tournament so far. Yeah, surprisingly, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been good. I've kind of had to switch it up. From practice and yesterday I caught him in a new area and today I had to switch it up and caught him in a new area again today. So probably gonna have to do the same thing tomorrow. So hopefully we can stumble around some new fish and uh, and catch them, bring them back for you guys tomorrow. Good news is you're gonna get the opportunity to see you back here tomorrow. I need you to get real loud. He is your day one leader, an elite series rookie from Tennessee, John Garrett. 
Had 24 pounds and 2 ounces yesterday. Needs 8 pounds, 12 ounces today. Not a problem. Five fish, 19 pounds, 13 ounces. With 43 pounds, 15 ounces. John Garrett has a stranglehold on the Lawrence, a Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain of Lakes. Get loud for your tournament leader, John Garrett. From Collegiate Champion to the Bassmaster Elite Series, and he is dominating this event at the halfway point. 43 pounds, 15 ounces. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Six pounds, nine ounces. Takes that over for the day. But you are dominating an event where so many anglers came into this kind of struggling and men... It is working out pretty good for you. I talked to you before day one, and you said, I'm going to go to a lake. You had a horrible preface that you were going to go to a lake you'd never fished before just because it would be positive. That turns out that was a great decision, John. Way to go. Yeah, uh, the good Lord has just absolutely blessed me the past two days. I've, I've, I've got some good bites, and I really didn't expect it whatsoever. I had just an extremely tough practice, and that led me to do something I had very little experience with and in some areas I, I have not spent much time at all. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. I, I'm fishing a way that I grew up fishing, and I love to fish. And, man, I, I, I hope I can get five more, maybe ten more of the right ones. And looking forward to see how this happens. But either way, it's been a blessed week. And even this weight right now, if I don't catch a bass the next two days, I've, I've had a good week on the Harris chain, and hopefully good Lord bless me in the next two days. Can't wait to watch it go down on Bass Live. Your tournament leader, ladies and gentlemen. A former Bass Nation national champion. He is a two-time Elite Series champion from Connecticut, Paul Mueller. 17 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Got a good bag of fish here today. 17 pounds even. A great tournament with 34 pounds, 13 ounces Paul Mueller moves into second place, nine pounds, three ounces short of the overall lead held by John Garrett. But look at that fin freak of nature right there. Needs to be better than six pounds and nine ounces to take over Phoenix Boat's big bass of the day. 714 for the tournament. Seven pounds and an ounce, a brand new Phoenix Boat's big bass of the day. And you're sitting in second place at the halfway point of this tournament. This is an easy one, huh? No, not at all. You know, um, without those two fish, that 714, this one, um, I wouldn't have had but 11 pounds or so. So the good Lord's blessed me with two big bites each day. And I just fish in new water. And, you know, it's it's crazy because, like, I was catching a bunch of little ones in a, in a new area that I uh, just kind of found today. And I almost left, and then I caught that fish. And, I mean, when I say they were little, the other ones were pound, pound and a quarter. So, I mean, it's just one of those deals where it's it's been a blessing. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I mean, it's it's you just got to go fishing. It's been tough. Practice was tough. But there's big fish in here, man. I mean, a seven-pounder in Connecticut, you may not catch one if you fish a whole year. And I've caught one each day. So, as tough as it is, this place has got big fish. And, I mean, you may roll up on one of those real big ones, you know, 10 – Somebody said they caught like a 13-pounder in a kayak tournament here. You know, that would be a game changer for sure. So I'm excited to get back out there and see what I can catch. Go get them. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Speaking of big things, I need you to get really loud. His 50th season of competition is 499th Bassmaster event, 32-time classic qualifier, 16-time Bassmaster winner, four-time classic champion from Ava, Missouri, the legendary Mr. Rick Clun. Had 13 pounds in an ounce yesterday. More than that today. 15 pounds, 12 ounces. And Rick Clun moves into ninth place with 28 pounds, 13 ounces. In his 499th Bassmaster event, 77-year-old Rick Clun is inside the top 10. Never accept... That your best moments are in your past. He coined that phrase in Palatka, Florida. And, man, he proves it week after week here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Needs 7-1 to take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass. That one, 5 pounds, 10 ounces. Not going to take that over. But, Rick Clun, you're inside the top 10. And Florida has been good to you through your career. And it's been good to you again here this week. We're not far from Disney. And it seems like somebody wrote this story from Disney. 
Well, I actually was coming here before Disney even existed, okay? <laughs> uh, it what didn't, and it, you know, there was just orange groves everywhere. You, 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 back then, it was 74, 75, 76, and on for a while. But uh, Florida is really can kick my butt at times, but I've won more term BASS tournaments in this state than any other state. I've won four events, uh, at, you know, in this uh, state. So it's been good to me when it's good. Being good this week, and I can't wait to watch you fish on semifinal Sunday. Let's hear it for Rick Clun. And let's hear it for your brand new Bassmaster Classic champion from Alabama, Justin Hamner. 12 pounds, 14 ounces to start the day today. Five fish to add to that here today. 14 pounds, 10 ounces with 27 pounds, 8 ounces. He moves into 12th place currently. Twenty-seven pounds, eight ounces. You're going to be fishing tomorrow, but this morning we talked, and you told me you were going to weigh twenty-six pounds. It turns out you, you weighed more, twenty-seven pounds, eight ounces. But I thought you were just talking for today, not two days. That's what you get for thinking. So, good, good point. Good, good point. Sorry, champ. <laughs> yeah, uh, today was fun. I went to another different lake, and man, I caught a bunch of fish. And you, if you saw that one, I mean, it was a pretty healthy fish. So I don't know. I'm going to go. Spend a lot more time in there tomorrow, and just, I know they're around there. I can see them, but you just keep flipping. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's fun. You know what else is fun? Getting You're getting good at it, too. Getting money, and he gets our Phoenix Boats a big bass award from our Lake Fork event, and 11-1. Let's hear it for that, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, like, when you did that, and that was the biggest bass ever caught on Bass Live, and, like, that was your biggest thing they used to get introduced wise and now people almost forget about it i haven't been asked about that <laughs> at all i guess that's a good problem to have i like these giant checks can y'all just keep giving them to me like every tournament sure it's that's up to you i mean i'll gladly give them to you all right well you're gonna sign it no 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 <laughs> go put that in the back of the pinto we'll see you tomorrow Next up, we have a Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida. Get loud for Scott Martin. 12 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. Everybody wants him inside our cut tomorrow. Five fish here today, 714 gives him 20 pounds, 6 ounces, and unfortunately not going to be inside the cut this time around, Scott. That's what you call a bona fide train wreck right there. That was bad. You know, there's a couple ways to win this tournament here. When you go to this this fishery with all these different lakes, different options. And the one option is offshore, some of the shell bars and some of that stuff. You see some of the guys on live, I'm sure, doing some of that. The other option is catch what you can here, go down to a popka, try to get eight or ten bites in a popka. If that works out, you'll have a big big bag chance. So I, I opted to go to a popka. I caught seven fish down there yesterday, and none of them were over two pounds. I went down there today with a small limit, in my uh, what I weighed in and caught zero bass down there today. So I don't know what happened. Practice was pretty good down there. I don't know if that front messed them up or what, but most of the guys that went to a popka got killed. So it was just one of those things. You just can't fish at all. And, you know, I really don't know what I would have done different, but, you know, nine times out of ten, you go to a popka, you're going to catch some pretty good ones. The good news is we're not leaving the Sunshine State. We'll see you up the road in Palatka, Florida. Let's bring out your 2023 Bassmaster Opens EQ Angler of the Year, J.T. Tompkins. He's a Bassmaster Open winner and classic qualifier. Had 19-11 yesterday. Another good day here today. Five fish. Needs 24-5 to take the lead. 17-1. Moves into second place. Seven pounds, four ounces short of the overall lead with 36 pounds, 12 ounces. J.T. Tompkins, Elite Series rookie, is sitting in second place. Trying to chase down another rookie, John Garrett. And uh, you guys all battled last year, and it, it seems like you're battling again this year just on a bigger stage. Absolutely. I love the journey. I mean, every single tournament seems like you've got a bunch of rookies up there, so it feels just like last year. I'm enjoying every minute of it. Just super happy to be here. It's one of my favorite lakes in the country. It's fishing a little tough, but there's still plenty of big ones to be caught. Hopefully we can put together a couple more for the next few days. You're in a great spot. Can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Keep it rolling. Speaking of rookies, the youngest angler ever to win an Elite Series event from Illinois, Trey McKinney. 
He is currently leading our Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race and our Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year race. And 17 pounds, 2 ounces puts him in third place in this event with 35 pounds even. One, two, three. All of them rookies, ladies and gentlemen, our top three Elite Series rookies. Big bass, big stage, big dreams. And he is living proof of it. Been 19 for a month now, and it turns out, uh, I, as I said yesterday, you are actually pretty good at this sport. You do, definitely do not suck at bass fishing. I'll tell you what, like I said, we've been very blessed on all the roads we've took and got here, and, I, and it's just a sport I love. You know, anything you love, it, it, it's not so much work. You know, I'm going out there to figure out the bass and get my five bites. So today was tougher. I still had a two-pounder, which, um, you know, it stunk. You know, we tried to catch another one, but... You know, we're just kind of going fishing. So every day is kind of unknown kind of deal. I really don't know if I'm around them every once in a while. You know, today I had a little flurry. I caught my two big ones back to back. So it's one of the things, if you make the right move every day, it's kind of like a chess game. We make the right right moves, we might more excel. So we'll see. I always talk about how composed and put together you are. Why, Why every time I talk to you do I feel like calling my children and yelling at them? You're so put together. How is this possible? Are you real or are you AI? You know, I saw, like, the video of Ben and everything. You know, hey, I, I'm just going to take it as we're just going to roll with it. You know, we're just, we're just going to roll with it. Always great to have you here. Let's see you back here tomorrow. From Blue Ash, Ohio, give me a little love for Alex Redwine. 11 pounds even yesterday. Five fish to add to that. To 15 pounds, 10 ounces with 26 pounds 10 ounces, Alex Redwine going to be going to work on semifinal Sunday. And just a few years ago, he was the youngest angler in the Elite Series. And <laughs> 26 pounds, 10 ounces. Doesn't it seem like a long time ago that you were, you were the really young angler in the Elite Series? Yeah, I was back there talking to some of them rookies. And the way they talk, they do not seem like rookies at all. They, they bring the heat for sure. Um, Today was still super stressful. I didn't catch my fifth fish until super late and got blessed with that big one. Uh, just want to say hi to everyone back home. Both my parents came up uh, to watch the weigh-in, so luckily I was able to hopefully make the cut, um, catch a big one for them, and, yeah, we, I guess we get another day to putz around the Harris chain and try to wrangle up some more bass. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A six-time classic qualifier, Bassmaster Open winner from Holt, Michigan, Chad Pipkins. 13 pounds even yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Eight pounds, 15 ounces. Gives him 21 pounds, 15 ounces. Puts you in 30th place right now, and I, I don't know that it's going to end on the right side of the cut. Pretty sure we're going to be on the wrong side of the cut. It's just one of those days. Caught a lot of fish. It's never got a good bite, but uh, it was a fun, fun couple days. The first limit I've weighed in on day two, so we're moving in the right direction, and uh, yeah, I've got a cool fundraiser going on these next couple weeks. I'm giving $10 per fi- uh, pound to the Leukemia Society. And I've got a fundraiser giving away a jersey and a uh, Dakota lithium battery and some sweat rods if you guys want to check it out on my stuff. Very cool. Thank you for doing that. A two-time Bassmaster winner once in the Opens and once on the Elite Series from South Carolina, Brian New. Nine pounds even yesterday. Needs 713 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there. Eight pounds, three ounces in the cut right now and 48th. So it's not probably not going to work out real well. But um, St. John's River, go ahead, and I know you like going there. Yeah, I love that place. It, uh, you know, I, first elite I ever fished was on the St. John's, and I got me a blue trophy. But, you know, the, the thing about this whole fishing gig is if you never make the right decision, you never get paid. You know, I need to get me one of them jobs where you can make the wrong decisions and still get paid. But, uh, yeah, I uh, I don't know. I missed this week. But we're going to regroup. We're going to slide to the river. We're going to catch some bass. Hopefully they're a lot bigger than this chain. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you there. He's a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Had seven pounds, eight ounces yesterday. Looks like a little better today. Needs 9-8 to get in the cut. 10-10's done that so far. 45th place with 18 pounds, 2 ounces. So for the next few minutes, you're in the cut. Uh, yeah, it's about 20 more guys weigh in, and I'll be slowly working down that stripper pole like my cousin used to do. I'll be on my way to the bottom. 
It's been a rough three termers for me. I don't know if y'all have ever had three in a row like that, but I'm telling you, son, it could have been raining hundred dollar bills here. I'd have got the nickels. I can promise you. It was. Uh, it's just been a, a rough start for the season, Dave. I really ain't doing nothing wrong. I don't think I'm. You know, I'm still fishing pretty slow and in control. I'm just not getting many big bites, and uh, it kind of frustrating. But hey, all you do is just. I told my wife this morning, I said, there's one thing about it. If I get all the way down to 100th in the points, I said, every step we take up from the bottom is called progress. And if you think about it, that's what life is. Sometimes you got to get real low to know how your progress is going. So apparently I want to live that out to the end because I'm going to slide on down there. So if my family's looking, I'll, I'll be at the very bottom of the printout, Mom. You want to put your glasses on because the printer will probably run out of ink before they print your son. But. We ain't out of it, Mom. We just been crippled up. I look like, you know, Conor McGregor. I've been staggered a little bit. It's like whooped me like I hope that Jay Paul gets whooped by Tyson. I hope Tyson beats him slam to death. I hope he twists his ankle and Tyson dies on him, bites his ear and knocks him out. That way you can always say, because everybody says you old people's washed up. If Tyson whoops him, we ain't washed up. Now, I tell everybody, just because you got a little snow on the roof don't mean there ain't fire in the cellar. He knows how to play up to a Florida crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Gerald Swindle, Elite Series champion from Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. Eight pounds, five ounces. Yesterday, five fish added to that here. Today, needs eight, 13, eight, nine, unfortunately, outside of the cut. But at least we didn't tease you and tell you you're inside for a little while. Uh, yeah, that's not even going to be close today. You know, it's just, I've, uh, I'm about like G right now. I'm kind of in that. A little bit of slump started out real good this year, and it's kind of just steadily went down. I'm going to have to get out of that and get back to fishing. Uh, so luckily, we get a quick turnaround here in uh, Palatka, and uh, I've caught them decent there. This place has got my number for sure, but uh, we got to get it turned around right now because I don't want to miss that classic next year. Always great having you here. We look forward to seeing you there. Let's bring out an Elite Series champion, Austin Felix. Twelve pounds, seven ounces. Yesterday, five fish to add to that. I unofficially just booked Gerald Swindle to be on FS1 tomorrow morning, so you want to tune into that and look at the scales. 19 pounds, 7 ounces. With 31 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into seventh place, and what a difference a day makes. Boom, shakalaka, ch 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 giant bass. Oh, boy. Needs to be 7-1 to take over Phoenix Boat's Big Bass of the Day. 7-14 to take over Phoenix Boat's Big Bass of the Tournament. You think he's got it, ladies and gentlemen? Eight pounds, seven ounces. A brand new Phoenix Boat's Big Bass of the Tournament of the Day. And it proved that they know nothing because they hardly clapped at all when I asked if they thought you had it. But, dude, you got it. And that is a big difference maker. Yeah, I caught that. That was the first fish of five bites I had all day, and I put him in the boat, and I was like, pretty sure I only need one more to make the cut. Um, biggest fish I've brought up across the stage on the Elite Series yet, so it was a pretty big deal. I'm excited to get to go tomorrow. We'll see. I might blank, but we'll be here. I'm looking forward to watching it go down. Great fish, great day. The only Australian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Fear my heart, Carl Jacobson. 10 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. Better day today. Needs 6, 11 currently, 5 fish, 13 pounds, 5 ounces. In 23rd place with 23 pounds, 13 ounces. In 23rd place, Carl Jacobson might have done enough to get fishing on semifinal Sunday. 23-13, me and you, big MMA fans. It is UFC 300. This morning we kind of joked to take off. Are you watching? He says, I, I, hope, I hope I make the cut. I don't get to watch it. Well, you might have screwed up your plans to watch UFC 300 tonight. If I sneak in the cut and I'm like inside just 50, I'm watching UFC 300 no matter what. Man, I fished my heart out today. I knew I thought about 14 pounds was going to get me in. Um, I found this one clump of grass and literally yesterday I caught 30 or 40 fish out of it. I got there this morning and they were biting again and I just caught them and caught them and caught them till 10 o'clock, made a couple late day upgrades. I just haven't had that one big Florida bite that you need, but I love Harris Chain. My very first Bassmaster Open was down here in 2011 or 12 and 
I was like, these guys have these anchors on the back. What are they? And I could see these bed fish and I couldn't stop and couldn't catch them. And the guys that knew had those shallow water anchors. And uh, a lot of memories from down here. I love this place and I'm praying I can get out there tomorrow. I'll be the happiest man alive if I make this cut. Appreciate everyone. He's made every cut this year on the Elites and the Bassmaster Classic. From Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. Had a top 10 in every event this season. Had 8-13 yesterday, five fish here today. Nine pounds even, moves into 48th place. 17 pounds, 13 ounces. Unfortunately, that top 10 streak's going to end here this week. But Coop, still having an incredible season. Yeah, it's been an awesome season so far. Hopefully that's my only bomb of the year. Uh, can't afford to have too many of those this year. I just never got comfortable in an area this week. Um, had a terrible practice. Um, lately, I've been having bad practices, and they've been bad turn or good tournaments. And this week was bad practice, bad tournament. Hopefully, we can turn things around next week on the St. Johns River. And uh, man, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks everyone for coming out. Hi everyone back home, and gonna go home, get some sleep, start thinking about the St. Johns, and hopefully do a little bit better there. Thanks guys. Looking forward to seeing you there. Took a win here in the college series just a few years ago from Tennessee, Cole Sands. Had eight pounds, 11 ounces yesterday. He likes them big. He likes them chunky, as the song says. Five fish today for eight pounds even. They were neither this time around, unfortunately. 16-11. Hey, I still like them big and chunky. They just don't seem to be like me too good this year, but... uh Hey, you know what? It wasn't my week. No matter what, God is still good. We got uh, St. John's next week, um, which is good. I don't have to wait to bounce back. You know, we get a couple of days off. I'll probably be at the Yamaha booth tomorrow, so y'all be sure to come by and see me there. And uh, just look forward to St. John's. Try, time to get this train back on the track and uh, catch him there. Looking forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. He's already made one top ten earlier this year from Cooperstown, New York. Bassmaster Open winner Kyle Patrick. Part of our incredible rookie class here in 2024. Had 12 pounds, 6 ounces yesterday. Looks like a better day today. Five fish here today. 13-9 with 25-15. He moves into 19th place and should have punched his ticket into semifinal Sunday here at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite on the Harris chain. So that should be enough to keep you on the right side of the cut. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. This is uh, this will be the first time I cash a check in Florida, and I fished like nine events, so I'm, I'm proud of it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm proud of it. Uh, you know, it's been a great year so far. I'm, you know, was trying to avoid a bomb, and I think we did. So, you know, gonna roll out tomorrow and swing for the fences, Dave. We'll make it happen. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Derek Hudnall. At seven pounds even as of this morning, five fish to add to that here today. Not a body language expert, but I feel not very good today. Five thirteen gives you twelve thirteen. Not the tournament that you wanted, but no better way to get over it than uh, head up to the St. John's River. Yeah, that's about the only option we have. Uh, holy cow! Uh, it's really hard to put into perspective the, the the amount of sacrifice and that we have to do here and we have events like this and you have to be so not just mentally strong but physically it's seven eight days and financially you know there's a lot of guys behind this stage right here that depend on cuts to really make a living and so these really sting and you have to be really strong at all categories this one absolutely stings it absolutely stinks to have events like this but like i said the first one you have to be mentally tough so let's go to st john's and uh let's see what we can do over there We'll make it happen. We'll see you there. Made his very first cut at his very first Elite Series event from Louisiana. Let me hear it for Logan Latuso. 14-13 yesterday. Only needs 2.15 to get in the cut. Got much more than that. 13 pounds even with 27 pounds, 13 ounces. Logan Latuso moves into 15th place, and he's going to be fishing with us on semifinal Sunday. Great job having a good tournament, Logan. Yeah, it feels good to get things going back on the right track again. Uh, it's tough out there. Catching a lot of fish, it's hard to find them big ones. So might change it up tomorrow and see what we can make happen. Go get them. We'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. Our next angler, a two-time classic qualifier from Texas. Get loud for Brad Watley. Having a big event here this week. Had 22 pounds yesterday. 
put on a show on Bass Live here today. Five Fish Dad that had 22 pounds even needs exactly 22 pounds to take the lead. 16-13 with 38 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into second place, just five pounds, three ounces short of the overall lead. Get loud for Brad Watley. Thirty-eight pounds, thirteen ounces, and uh, it was fun watching you on Bass Live here today, especially with that big one. Got a little animated, and I like seeing it. Yeah, that got me a little fired up right there. Uh, you know, it was kind of crunch time. I needed, I needed a big fish to keep me in this thing, and good Lord bless me, and I got one big bite, and yeah, I probably got a little bit excited, you know, a little bit excited on that one. Well, you're within the closest distance. You're in second place. I mean, five pounds, just over five pounds behind our Kurt tournament leader. Two days to go. You're in a great spot. Are we going to see you hoist this blue trophy this week? I mean, that's a long ways away, but that'd be awesome to do it. Uh, you know, I mean, really and truly, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But I feel like I feel good this week as far as, you know, everything that I'm doing is the right moves. And, you know, and that, that don't come around very often. So everywhere I pulled up, I, you know, I pretty much caught them. So if that trend stays, then, yeah, you never know, dude. We liable, we liable to. Can't wait to watch it go down on Bass Live tomorrow. He's a four-time classic qualifier Bassmaster Open winner from Mount Carmel, Tennessee, David Mullins. Had 14-2 yesterday. Let's get him inside the cut here today. 11 pounds, 3 ounces with 25 pounds, 5 ounces. He moves into 23rd place, and David Mullins should be part of semifinal Sunday here in beautiful Leesburg, Florida. Florida's always about the big bite, and when you get one of those, it makes a big difference, and uh, you're on the right side of the cup by the looks of things, David. Yeah, I was so lucky, man. That was like the third fish of the morning, and I was like, you know what? I just got to check if I can just back it up with two more, and I swear it took me till like 2.30 to get my fifth one. So it's fishing so tough. Gosh, almighty, I, I've been out of breath all day just like, give me a keeper, give me a keeper. I want to make 10 grand, and I hope that's enough to get in. I think it is, but, man, it's been a struggle all day, but uh, happy to get that big and hope we can get another one tomorrow. Great job. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. All the way from Wisconsin, get loud for Kyle Norsetter. Kyle Norsetter had a big day yesterday, 17 pounds, 6 ounces. Today, 5 fish, 15 pounds, 13 ounces with 33 pounds, 3 ounces. Kyle Norsetter moves into 6th place inside our top 10. And if he stays there, he's going to have one of our Bass Live cameras, going to be able to watch that all day long, as it always happens on every Elite Series day of weekend day of competition, Saturday and Sunday, starting at 8 a.m. on FS1, hours outside of that on Bassmaster.com. And I hope you get one of those cameras, because I'd love to watch you compete tomorrow. You might, but I get to shaking, because every time I get one, something goes wrong. But I think we're a little dialed in, and we kind of... We're fishing around a lot of people, kind of outfished them today, and I think we got plenty of fish. We caught four limits, you know, not a lot of big ones, but we added up what we can, and I think I lost two that would have helped, but take what you can get. Third cut, we got one more to make, and we're already past last year, and we got plenty of fishing in front of us. So we'll see what happens and how far I can stay. Top ten would be great. And just go from there. Love to see you putting it together. See you back here tomorrow morning. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina, K.J. Queen. Got to see K.J. Queen a little on Bass Live today. Had 19 pounds even yesterday. Five fish to add to it here today. 15 pounds, 7 ounces. And just like that, he's in sixth place with a 34 pounds and 7 ounces. North Carolina's K.J. Queen. Nice touch weighing into the Bassmaster theme song and 34 pounds, 7 ounces. Should have you with one of those cameras again tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully so. Uh, you know, I had fun today on camera. It, you know, it's a little intimidating, ain't going to lie, but uh, hopefully we can uh, get one of those real big ones in tomorrow and maybe we can make something happen out of it. I would love to see it happen for you. Great job so far. Our next Tangler Bassmaster Open winner, Usually, originally from Michigan, now makes his home in Florida. Kobe Krieger, six pounds and nine ounces yesterday. A much better day today. Six, nine yesterday. Today, 19 pounds, 14 ounces with 26 pounds, seven ounces. Kobe Krieger rallies himself right into the cut. Get loud for Kobe Krieger. 
What a difference. A much better day today, Kobe. Well, you know, I told you yesterday I wasn't feeling too good on stage. My wife told me to go out and catch a big bag. You'll feel a lot better. And, you know, I'm still not feeling right, but it was a lot easier today fishing. And like you said yesterday, you know, you, you might not have worked real hard to catch that 6-9, but I worked a whole lot harder yesterday to catch 6-9 than I did today to catch 19. It was a great day. Me and my partner had a great time. And uh, that was probably the biggest comeback I've ever had. I was in, like, 95th place, I think, going into the day. So, We'll see what happens tomorrow and we'll go out and have fun. Keep that comeback rolling. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Florida, I know you're going to get very loud. He's a six-time classic qualifier from DeBerry, Florida, John Cox. 22 pounds of five ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. Seven, seven gives him 29 pounds, 12 ounces. And the good news is, your kids don't have to hold any fish today. Man, it was so tough on me today. I ran all over the place, couldn't get any bites, couldn't get nothing going. Nothing. I felt like I was in good areas, but I just couldn't get them going. And luckily, I caught that seven pounds towards the end of the day to uh, hopefully go tomorrow. But, uh, man, I, man, this is awesome that we're here. Awesome crowd. Man, I hope tomorrow we can get out there and... Uh, you know, and run into them again. I'm probably going to completely change it up and go to the other side of the chain and uh, see what happens. Can't wait to watch it go down. John Cox is going to be part of it, and he didn't have to hold any fish today. How awesome is that? She hated it yesterday. A six-time Bassmaster winner from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. 13 pounds even yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Let's get Hackney into the semifinal Sunday. 13-6. He's done that with 26 pounds, 6 ounces. He's in 24th place and inside our projected cut to fish on semifinal Sunday at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite. So a consistent tournament you're having here this week. I guess it's been kind of a grind the last couple days, but it's fun fishing. I like to, I enjoy to fish the way I'm fishing. So uh, I'm going to make a little gamble tomorrow. going to go somewhere different and try maybe a little farther away and see how that turns out. But... I just, I, like I said, I just love to be. Anytime you're in Florida, it's like being on vacation. It is really good to be here. Great place, and I look forward to watching you gamble tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, he's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from California. Bryant Smith had 14 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Today, 9 pounds, 11 ounces gives him 24 pounds, 8 ounces inside the projected cut right now. Got to see if it holds out. Man, I just missed that big bite today. You know, that's what got me my way yesterday. Uh, just junk fish my way, and, and I'm on nothing. You know, I have nothing to do tomorrow, but I would love to go fishing. I promise you that. Well, we'll find out here shortly. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year and Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Cook. Had nine pounds, five ounces yesterday, trying to move all the way up the leaderboard. Five fish here today, 14 pounds, 3 ounces. With 23 pounds, 8 ounces, he moves into 34th place, and he's got to hope it's enough to go fishing on semifinal Sunday. Let's hear it for Drew Cook. Thirty or 23 pounds, 8 ounces inside the cut in 34th right now. Let's hope it's enough. I sure hope so. I, uh, you know, bobbed and weaved around this morning, and, uh, Found a shad spawn, but I was late to it, and uh, I would love to be there at daylight in the morning. And I mean, I was cutting stuff off and rigging stuff, I, I, like on the go. I didn't have, I wasn't prepared for it at all. I would like to be there with some rods ready, and and, uh, and be there at daylight to see what could happen because it it could go down really. I mean, the two big fish that I caught was like bam bam, and then it was over. So I'd like to be there for a while. We'll try to fire through this way and quickly and find out if you're in the cut. A two-time Elite Series champion from Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. Tough day yesterday, 412 yesterday. Today, five fish. Let's get him some progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. Ten pounds, two ounces. He's done that, 14-14. Not going to make the cut this time around, J. Willie, but another great fishery next week to recover on. Yeah, we got a couple of days to get our mind right uh, before we go to St. John's. This is a heck of a fishery, you know. It's just one of these times of year. It's really tough. The fish seem real skinny, but uh, I just never felt like I was around them. Every time I set the hook, it was just a small one. So uh, pretty lost this week, but got a couple of days. We'll go to St. John's and get them back. Go get them. We'll see you down the road. Next up, we have a three-time Bassmaster winner, a three-time TTBC champion from Huntington, Texas, Keith Combs. Had 10 pounds, four ounces as of day number one. 
Day two, bringing us five fish. He's 10-3 to get in the cut currently. 9-5, not going to make the cut this time around, unfortunately, with 19-9. St. John's River next week. And, uh, I mean, it's always great to be in Florida. And uh, you can recover up there. I, I can. Uh, we, the good news is we don't have to wait very long for redemption. You know, this place kicked my butt this week. It just it just changed so much from practice. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's a challenging place. But the thing about it is that every pitch just feels like you're going to catch a big one. You just don't. But, uh, no, I enjoy Florida, and I'm looking forward to next week. Looking forward to seeing you back here. From Georgia, let's bring out a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Mark Frazier. Mark Fraser at 11 pounds, 11 ounces. As of day number one, he's got five fish here today. Needs 8, 12 currently. More to stay there to the end of the weigh-in. 11 pounds and an ounce. Puts him in 37th place with 22, 12. Is it going to be enough? How much is it? You're 22 pounds, 12 ounces. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to be, what, 50th or? I don't know. I was asking you. I don't know. No, I'm just joking. I'm probably not going to make it. But, man, I did everything I could today. I didn't lose any fish. I flipped. I chattered. I uh, fished shallow, fished deep. I don't know. I don't know how these guys are catching these big bags. But I had fun. Um, looking forward to next week. Um, I always enjoy going to St. John's River. It's a pretty place to fish. And uh, hopefully we can catch them better. Looking forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time classic qualifier from Japan, Kenta Kimura. At 8 pounds, 4 ounces yesterday, but a better day here today. Needs 12-3 to get inside the cut. More to stay there till the end of the weigh-in. 13 pounds, 5 ounces in 46th place with 21 pounds, 9 ounces. Kenta Kamira digging deep in that Cross City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for him. An absolute hydrilla gorilla right there. 21 pounds, 9 ounces, Kenta. So uh, inside the cut, but I don't know if you're going to stay there. Uh, I'm hundred percent sure it's not gonna happen, but yeah, but you know I can't complain. I never found a big fish until today, so you know maybe next week. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing the St. John's River, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Millville, New Jersey. GDP Greg De Palma, ten pounds nine ounces yesterday. Looking for ten eight to get inside the cut. Currently more to stay there till the end of the weigh-in. Six pounds, six ounces. Unfortunately, not going to make the cut. 16, 15. But the good news is and your family's here, and uh, great way to recover with them here in the Sunshine State. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the best news of the day. Uh, you know, thank you guys for coming out, too. It's, it really means a lot. And they flew all in from New Jersey. It's, it's not easy. And we got a newborn. She's pregnant also on top of that, so that's a lot. But uh, not my tournament. You know, that's three in a row now that just did not work out. I better get it in gear and learn how to catch some fish again. Well, stop making all those babies. Maybe you catch more bass. <laughs> Next up, we have a four-time Bassmaster winner from North Prince George, Virginia, Jacob Peroznik. 11 pounds, 8 ounces. After day number one. Better day today. Five fish, 14 pounds and an ounce. Gives him 25 pounds, 9 ounces. He moves into 28th place currently. And it looks like Jacob Brosnick's going to go fishing with us on semifinal Sunday. And that fish right there is definitely the reason why. Yeah, I kind of figured out what was going on yesterday. I guess with that big wind we had, it blew all the water out of where I was fishing at. And then this afternoon, you could actually see the water getting higher. And it's, it's easier to, to uh, flip when it does that. And actually caught a couple of really nice ones this afternoon. So looking forward to tomorrow. There were some fish swimming around. They're still paired up. Some of them are still trying to spawn. So it's supposed to be really slick calm. And you never know what will happen. Okay, go hammer him. We look forward to seeing him back here tomorrow. A two-time Elite Series champion, the reigning Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from Arkansas, the Cowboy, Joey Sefuentes. Three pounds, seven ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. Going to earn some valuable progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. 11 pounds, two ounces with 49 pounds or 14 pounds, nine ounces. Tried to cheat for you, but Chris gave me the side. I can't do that. Turns out I can't get you into the cut. Yeah, you can at all. No, it's my fault. I'm sorry. Dang, nabbit, Dave. Well, uh, we struggled day one, obviously, and uh, today we had a little better day, but I, I just, I don't know, man. The train is off the tracks right now. I got to get it back on the tracks, baby. So maybe we'll uh, catch him up there at the next tournament, but...
appreciate all my family and stuff coming out tonight. We're going to have a big shrimp boil with some friends. And uh, appreciate you guys following and watching me on the water. And uh, maybe we'll get them on the next one. Sounds like a good time. Look forward to seeing St. John's River. A former Bass Nation national champion all the way from Hawaii. Say aloha to Matty Wong. 12 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Needs 8-7 to get inside the cup. More to stay there till the end of the weigh-in. 7 pounds, 7 ounces with 20 pounds, 6 ounces. Not going to make it this time around, unfortunately. No, it's okay. It's still uh, incremental improvements from a couple years ago. Where I was like almost next to last. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Maybe even a baby check? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Enough to get, like, maybe Kenta some Red Bulls and then maybe to recoup some of this gas. But, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was fun. It was, um, this place is definitely a different fishery than it was a couple years back. I, I think with uh, all the the Karens with the HOA wanting to spray all the hydrilla, but um, we're not going to mention any names. Um, but, uh, you know who I feel bad for? Ten years ago, there was people that got the name Karen and had no idea what was coming for them. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. <laughs> sorry to those Karens, but to the other Karens, not so sorry. But no, um, either way, you guys are the best for showing out. I just wanted to shoot out a, a how's it to everyone back in Hawaii. Aloha to everyone back in California and the West Coast and everyone that supports me. My girlfriend uh, back in Cali, Ale, love you, babe. And uh, everyone else, off to the next one. We're going to give her all we got. So thanks for coming out. Safe travels. We'll see you up the road. A former collegiate Bassmaster champion from Tennessee, Jacob Fouts. Had 9.13 yesterday. Needs 11.9 to get inside the cut here today. A little bit better day, but looks at things. 14 pounds, 2 ounces inside the cut currently with 23 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into 34th place, and that's a major reason right there. 23.15, and uh, you can give that kiss, that fish an extra kiss because it might be the reason you fish tomorrow. Yeah, man, I sure hope so. That's the, uh, I love that fish, man. That's the first big one I've caught since I've been here, man. I've been looking for it all week, and I uh, finally got it today when I needed it. You know, uh, you know I feel like I'm probably going to come up a, a few ounces short here of the, the cut tomorrow, but you know what? I, I can't be disappointed. Days like today can go a long way at the end of the year. You make up some points. Could be the difference at the Classic at the end of the year, but... Uh, yeah, going to go backstage here and sweat it out, man. I love the Harris chain. Uh, got a lot of family here. My grandma and grandpa live here. I love this place, man. Uh, shout out to them for putting up with me this week. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go sweat it out. We'll try to fire through this quickly. Go spend some time with your grandparents. The self-professed biggest underdog in Elite Series history from Oklahoma, John Sokup. 8.15 yesterday. Needs a better day today. Looking for 12.7 to get inside the cut currently. 13 pounds and an ounce. He's done that so far with 22 pounds even. John Sokup moves into 43rd place currently. And that fish is a major reason why. John, I was following on Bass Track. It looked like that was an afternoon bite. And, man, that must have lifted the spirits in your boat. Yeah, I, I got something figured out. I lost a couple five-pounders before that one. Uh, just the way I'm fishing, you're going to lose some fish doing that. So um, I don't think I'm going to make the cut, but I enjoyed getting the points back. I looked and saw, man, these points are really, really important. So if this is my last day, you guys, I want to give a shout-out to Save More Outdoors. It's a new company that we started, guys. We're doing distribution for anybody that's got a tackle shop, but we're also doing wholesale prices online. Go to savemoreoutdoors.com. we got all sorts of tackle outdoors products. Everything we got is really discounted. So if you're looking for a good deal on any kind of baits, go to SaveMoreOutdoors.com. Everybody loves to save more. We look forward to seeing you hopefully back here tomorrow. He's a former Forest Wood Cup champion and Bassmaster Open winner from Alabama, Justin Atkins. Ten pounds and an ounce yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Eleven pounds, eight ounces. He needs to get inside the cut. Five fish, eight, eleven with 18, 12. Unfortunately, outside of the cut this time around, Justin. Yeah, so I didn't have a marshal today, so I had a lot of time to just think. And I've never got a 10 grand check here, number one. Number two, I have not caught a five-pounder out of this lake since 2018. I have rattle trap, chatter-baited, speed worm, Carolina rigged, flipped, frogged, and buzz-baited today. And I bet I caught 50, and I have not caught a two-pounder. I don't know if I'm going to have to move here. I may have to just rent from one of y'all. I don't know, but I'm going to figure this place out one of these days. 
And uh, it's not going to be this week, but maybe next time. Always great to have you here. Go enjoy a few days off with your family. Another Alabama angler. He is a two-time classic champion returning to the Elite Series. Get loud for Jordan Lee. At 21 pounds, 6 ounces after day number one. Five fish here today. 9 pounds, 4 ounces with 30 pounds and 10 ounces. He moves into 12th place currently, but as of this morning, was sitting in second place in our Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. And I know you're kind of sliding in here, being real quiet, but uh, you're just as deadly as you used to be. Man, I don't know. You know, I, it, it's been a great start to the year for sure. Um, you know, hair's changed. It's tricky. I said that yesterday, you know, I, I, where I caught that, I, I'd say big bag yesterday. Uh, biggest one I caught was two pounds there today. So, you know, it's feast for famine, and um, you just really don't know what to expect day to day out here. But, man, yeah, a great start to the year, three cuts in a row. Um, we'll try to keep it going. Maybe we can move up tomorrow and, you know, put ourselves top ten. Who knows? But uh, uh, Carolina rig, that's what was the deal for me yesterday, old school fishing. Um, and today I had to go flipping and mix it up a little bit just to get a big bite. But that makes all the difference in the world out here. But appreciate you all coming out, and uh, it's great. It's great to be back on the leads. Thank you. Great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A four-time classic qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. At 11 pounds, two ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today and a better day today. He's going to be sticking around. 11-2, yes, a 15 pounds even today. With 26 pounds, two ounces, he moves into 27th place. And Hunter Shryock going to be fishing on semifinal Sunday. Here at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain, and great rally today. And it's going to put you to work again tomorrow. Man, it was just a blessed day. You know, I think I went every fish that I weighed in came on a different lure, so it was just one of those hodgepodge deals. But uh, definitely didn't have a morning bite like I did yesterday, and then today it all happened in the afternoon. So hopefully we get to go back out there tomorrow. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are tired of the wind yet because I am. It can stop blowing at any time, all right, Florida? I'm just sending that out there. So hopefully tomorrow there's less wind and we can just go fishing. All right. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Another Elite Series of Rookies, a Bassmaster Open winner from Maine, the main event, Tyler Williams. 17 pounds, 2 ounces, already made one top 10 on the Elite Series, and it looks like he's got his eyes on another one here this week. 17-2 yesterday, 5 fish to add to that. 17 pounds and 9 ounces with 34 pounds, 11 ounces. Tyler Williams moves inside the top 10 in 6th place currently. And the rookies continue to dominate in 2024. <laughs> 34 pounds, 11 ounces. And man, you are having a lot of fun this season. Yeah, it's it's been a blast. I love this. I'm so happy to be here. It's I like Harris Chain. Harris Chains can be a little tough, but I enjoy it. I can fish how I want. How are you fishing? Um, the way I like to fish with a big jig offshore. <laughs> you do you own other lures? I I did throw a jerk bait a little bit. I I had I had to get something going. <laughs> it was a little slow to start, but then we got around to the jig fish. We keep catching them like that, and we might get to watch you all day tomorrow on Bass Live. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. I'm choking on a mint right now. Stick with me, guy. <laughs> Our next angler, a classic qualifier, the barrister, Edward Lochran the third. Seventeen pounds, three ounces yesterday, five fish here today. 20 pounds, 9 ounces. He moves into third place with 37 pounds and 12 ounces. Let's hear it for the barrister, Edward Locker in the third, looking to go fishing on semifinal Sunday. Uh -oh. 37 pounds, 12 ounces. He's in the top three right now in third place. Going to weigh that Phoenix Boats big bass. Seven pounds, 15 ounces. Not going to take that. But, man, what a day today. And uh, looks like uh, and the top three have been dominated by our rookies. Well, you just threw your boot right in there in the middle of them, and you're in the mix, Ed. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a strange day. I had plans to do one thing, and I ended up uh, doing the exact opposite. Just uh, sort of rolled with it, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's a fun day. 
Had a great marshal. Really had a great time the whole day. Just got a little lucky. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring up the first Canadian ever to win an Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. 14 pounds, 12 ounces yesterday, and another good day here today. He's going to be fishing with us in the semifinal Sunday. Five fish. Five good ones. Five fish all alive, ladies and gentlemen. 17 pounds and an ounce with 31 pounds, 13 ounces. Chris Johnston moves into 13th place currently. Let's hear it for Chris Johnston. 31, 13, and guess what? You're going to work again tomorrow. That's not a bad thing when you get to go fishing on Sunday. It's not championship Sunday, but I uh, still get to go out there and have fun tomorrow and uh, see what happens. Uh, had a great day today. Um, wasted about three hours for some reason. I went to Griffin, never caught a bass, and come back to kind of what I was doing this morning and ended up upgrading with two four-pounders. So maybe tomorrow I'll have a little more patience and stick her out. We'll get rigged and get ready. We'll see you out here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Our anglers leave. Let's bring the back-to-back -back Bass Nation National Champion, Elite Series Champion from Alabama, Will Davis Jr. Had 10-7 yesterday. He's got more than that here today by the looks of things. 10-7 yesterday, today, 17 pounds, 12 ounces. Rallies himself right into the mix with 28 pounds, 3 ounces. Will Davis Jr. finds himself in 22nd place currently. That's a good day and a good rally, putting you in semifinal Sunday tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't feel like it was going to be that way. And, uh, you know, I went five hours out of bite. I caught him real good early. And while well, I say good, I caught seven real early. And uh, went five hours out of bite and pulled on a deal and uh, made a cast uh, with 10 minutes to go. And um, Z-Man Chatterbait never hit the bottom. And it just thunk, and uh, it was at 6-3. So very blessed to have that fish. And if I can catch five then tomorrow, you know, it <laughs> would be a lot, uh, lot better. But we're going to give it all we got and see where it has us. We're going to get a shot. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Bassmaster winner, one in the Opens and one in the Elite Series. The always lethal Brandon Lester. Brandon Lester with 21 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Another good day here today. 11 pounds, 2 ounces. Gives him 32 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into 10th place currently. And we're going to make a really cute family picture here, ladies and gentlemen. You're not getting a Christmas card from him, but it might look just like this. Girls, get go, go up there. Oh, no, a, I'm not good at setting up pictures, evidently. So a little tougher today, but uh, enough to keep you in it. And we kind of talked about it on live. You know, your track record in Florida is great, but... What it makes it so great is everybody has tougher days, it seems, in every Florida event. But your tougher days stay on the right side of the double digits anyways. So I'm going to get another shot tomorrow. And watching you fish, you look incredibly comfortable. Oh, I'm definitely comfortable down here. I, that's one of the things I love about it. You learn the, the nuances in the grass and the way the fish set up and things like that. So I'm definitely comfortable. I love the way I'm fishing. They slap me back to reality a little bit today. Uh, it, it's definitely tough out there, you know, to get a bite, but I just was fortunate yesterday and got some really good bites, and hopefully we'll get some more of them going into the, the last two days. We'll go spend a little time with the family, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. It's leaving me hanging. I appreciate that. I like, I like the bigger one better, to be honest. Next up, we have an angler of the year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Six pounds, ten ounces yesterday. Two fish here today. They only need to be 37 pounds, six ounces. 211, nine pounds, five ounces. Unfortunately, a tough one for you this time around, but the good news is these are few and far between for you. I tell you, it's been the two toughest tournaments of my career the last couple of weeks, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward to next week, but man, I tell you, I've fished my guts out out here i give it out to the guys that are catching them. i don't know how they're doing it i ran that skeeter yamaha all the way to a i don't know how many boats i've passed in two days running down there and uh really thought i could catch a decent bag in a pot in five hours and i've done it two days and i've caught like three pounds so i don't know what happened but it got me this time we'll see if we can't straighten it out next week go get them we'll see you back here 
Next up, we have an angler having a big week here today from Alabama. Get loud for Joseph Webster. Had 20 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Got to watch him on Bass Live here today. Five fish to add to that. 20 pounds, 15 ounces, 10, 15. Puts him in 13th place with 31 pounds, 14 ounces. Let's hear it for Joseph Webster. So kind of like what I just talked to Lester about, I don't know if you heard, but, you know, to survive a Florida event, you're going to have one of those rougher days where you have to survive, but you did your job here today, and uh, anything can happen tomorrow. Yeah, I thought I was going to not survive at about lunchtime today. I had five for about four pounds, and, uh, you know, you, down here you just got to keep in your mind that they are big fish here, and, uh, you know, I just kept kept going and kept going and kept going, caught that four or five pounder late in the day, and, uh, you know, if I can round up a couple more tomorrow, we can... We can turn it around. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Del Rio, Texas, Ray Hanselman Jr. 8-8 eight, eight yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 10 pounds, 15 ounces. Gives him 19-7. You move into 66th place. Unfortunately, outside of the cut this time around, Ray. Yeah, it was... Just one of those tournaments I, I didn't, you know, get the big bites yesterday and, and only got one good fish today. But I, I caught 20 to 30 a day, and and I was doing the right thing, just missed a bite here and there. I just want to give a shout-out to my wife, Misty, and my boys, Mason and Miles. And uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I'll be over there at the Skeeter Yamaha booth tomorrow, so uh, swing by and we'll visit. Looking forward to seeing you there. Next up, we have a lead series champion from Springville, Alabama, Wes Logan. Had 15 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Needs six, eight to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there till the end of the way. And he's got eight pounds, four ounces. Moves into 42nd place with 24 pounds and an ounce. So a little bit tougher day today, obviously. But hopefully it's enough to get you out there tomorrow, Wes. Yeah, I hope it is. I don't think it's going to be quite enough, though. Uh, I, I got two good bites like I did yesterday. I just execution was kind of off. My my day two curse continues. I've had a good day every day or every first day of our, you know, the three tournaments and two, day twos I've sucked. But anyways, I don't know. It's fishing tough, but I want to thank everybody for coming here. It's a pretty good crowd for real. Um, thanks to my parents back home, everybody watching, my beautiful wife backstage, and hopefully get to go tomorrow. Keep our fingers crossed for you and find out here shortly. He's a six-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a three-time Bassmaster winner from Paducah, Kentucky, Mark Menendez. 11 pounds, four ounces yesterday, five fish here today. And he's 11-2 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there. Let's send him into the weekend. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 53rd place with 22 pounds even. Mark Menendez, unfortunately, not going to be fishing. Semi-final Sunday, but we're heading to the St. John's River next, and you've done very well there in the past. Well, memories, if memory serves me right, it may be good. We'll see. It's been pretty tough over there from what I've been watching. And, you know, these events, you just cannot have those days, Dave. Today was one of those days, about 30 minutes that I'd love to have back. But anyway, been consistent, get a few points, get out of here. We'll go to the next one. Yamaha ran good. I blew two hats off my head today, so I had to go find one a minute ago. Well, I'm glad you got yourself a hat, and we'll see you at the next one. A nine-time Bass, our ten-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's a former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. Nine pounds even yesterday, five fish here today. Ten pounds, five ounces, gives you 19 pounds, five ounces. He moves into 69th place currently. Let's hear it for Skeeter Yamaha Pro, Matt Heron. 19 pounds, 5 ounces, so unfortunately outside of the cut this time around. But St. John's River, just in a few days to get redemption. Yeah, you know, it's this one of them weeks where I caught lots of fish. I mean, this place is absolutely full of pound and a quarter to two-pound fish. I just never got hooked up with a big female, but we'll go on to St. John's and do a little better. Go we'll get them. We'll see you there. Next up from Old Forge, PA, give me a little love for Jonathan Kelly. 12 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. He's got five fish here today looking for 9.14. 10 pounds, 8 ounces. Gives him 23 pounds even. He moves into 47th place. So you're inside the cut right now. But um, some of these guys behind us might ruin that for you. Oh, uh, man. If it was like 44th, 45th, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. I know my track record. I have a handful of 51st and 52nd. So I'm not feeling too good about it. 
Uh, unfortunately, weighed in four fish yesterday, so uh, I know how big that one that I did not get is going to probably hurt me in this event. It happens. All we can do is move on, and uh, it's a good week. Caught some fish, but just didn't execute as good as I would have liked. Uh, hopefully, we can clean that up for next week in St. John's if I don't get to go again tomorrow. Keep our fingers crossed and see how it works out here in just in a few minutes. A former Bass Nation national champion, a three-time classic qualifier from Louisiana, Caleb Summerall. 11 pounds, 10 ounces. Yes, a four fish here today. Unfortunately, one short of his limit. Needs 11 pounds even to get inside the cut. Five pounds, 11 ounces with 17.5. Unfortunately, a tough one for you, Caleb. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I was talking yesterday about something that I uh, caught that big one I, I had yesterday doing, and I said, you know, I'm going to really press that, and boy, did I press it, and it was not happening. Uh, bounced around, was able to scratch up for, I don't think I even had a chance at my fifth one. It was just one of those days for me. Um, but that's, I mean, they, they come with it. So, you know, just go put it behind me and work my rear off to go win St. John's and uh, forget about this one. Go make it happen. We'll see you there. Here's your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Had 10 pounds even yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Needs 12, 10 to get inside the cut currently. 11 pounds, 10 ounces with 21 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 59th place currently, but digging deep in that Lunker City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. So, Kyle, unfortunately, a tough one this time around, but uh, St. John's River coming next, and uh, you've done well there in the past. Yeah, absolutely, but the key there is I caught a 10-pounder there one time, so I didn't get any big bites here, and, you know, that, that's kind of just the game you play in Florida. You know, I'm around a lot of people that caught them, and you just got to be the one that makes the right cast at the right time, but I actually kind of prefer it to be fishing like this because – I guess growing up in Alabama, I just like the grind. I kind of embrace the grind. It just it's a little bit less fun when it doesn't go your way. But I still love coming here, even though it's fishing a little tough this week. We love having you here. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. He's a three-time classic qualifier, former Bass Nation national champion from Wisconsin, Pat Schlopper. At 11 pounds, two ounces. After day number one, he's got five fish here today, looking for 11.8 to get in the cut. 9.4 with 20 pounds, six ounces. 67th place outside of the cut, not where you're used to being, but uh, St. John's River next uh, week and a few days to kind of get your head right going to that one. Yeah, this sport's crazy, you know, talking to Kyle back there. It seems like when you're catching fish, you, there's no way you can't catch them. And now me not catching fish, I feel like there's no way I can catch them. So it's a bit, you know, mental is a big part of this game. And, and right now it's it's killing me, so hopefully next week I can rebound and make my first cut on the St. John's. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Look forward to seeing you there. He's a Bassmaster Open winner. Had a second-place finish here last year in the Opens from Texas. Ben Milliken. Five pounds, 11 ounces yesterday. A tough first day. Four fish here today. 4.14. Going to finish with 10 pounds, 9 ounces. The thrill of victory and the agony of angling. Such a fickle sport, but... Uh, I know you're going to come out swinging next week. Yeah, I had a rough one here. Obviously not what we wanted, but uh, I'm ready to hurt some next week. That's for sure. I'm looking forward to seeing you there in Palatka, Florida. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that noise coming for a two-time Bassmaster winner, a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Newmarket, Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. 6'10". Yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. 11 pounds, 13 ounces, outside of the cup with 18 pounds, 7 ounces. But it's always good to have Seth Fighter walk across the Bassmaster Elite Series stage. Digging deep in that way and bag. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen, Seth Fighter. 18-7, a tough one this time around, but another great venue next week. Yeah, uh, looking forward to going to the St. John's. I love being down in Florida. You could catch a, you know, a 10-pounder or a... Uh, six pounds all day depending on how it goes but uh yeah looking forward to getting back out there and uh hopefully catch them better at st john's you'll make it happen we'll see you there safe travels a two-time Bassmaster winner one in the opens one in the elite series from wisconsin caleb kufal four pounds eight ounces yesterday much better day here today Four eight yesterday today fifteen pounds of four ounces with nineteen pounds twelve ounces he moves into seventieth place outside of the cut 
but gets some very valuable progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. And all those points add up at the end of the season. So today, a very important rally. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was kind of unfortunate uh, yesterday. Um, that wind just kind of killed me. I had one area that uh, the wind was blowing on hard, and today uh, calmed down around 1 o'clock, and I slid in there and, uh, and caught pretty much all that, that weight. So um, looking forward to the next one. Um, you know, we're going to stay here in Florida and swing hard, I guess. Look forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. Next up, his second season on the Elite Series from Connecticut. Get loud for Alex Weatherell. Had 11 pounds even yesterday. Needs 11.10 here today to get inside the cut. Less than 10 anglers left to weigh in here. Day number two. Got to thank everybody for coming out here. 12-1 in 47th place with 23 pounds and an ounce. So inside the cut with three spots of cushion and less than 10 anglers left to weigh in here today. So you got, you're inside the cut. Not a lot of cushion and uh, we'll have to see how this shakes out. No, there's, there's no cushion. My back's up against the wall and couple anglers left so we'll see but i feel i felt like i was one bite away and i'm hoping i wasn't but uh yeah i love coming down here i love florida but unfortunately there's just a lack of grass in a lot of these lakes and i couldn't figure it out this week so we'll fire through this last few anglers quickly and fight get you an answer he is a two-time elite series champion from panama city beach florida drew benton at 11.10 yesterday, needs 11.2 here today to get inside the cut. Looking for 11 pounds, 2 ounces, 8 pounds, 5 ounces with 19.15. Unfortunately, a very rare, tough Florida event for you. Yeah, you know, I live here in Florida and I pay taxes. And, you know, it's, uh, it's burning me up that the state of Florida uses my money to destroy a lake like this and spray it the way they do. I wish everybody would get on board, co contact your congressman, your state official, and stop all this spray. And I, I watched this place go from an awesome fishery last time we were here. And it's no, it's no surprise that it's, it's doing what it's doing and being tough fishery this week because of what they're doing. I know that they have good intentions, but this week I saw firsthand what, how bad and detrimental it can be to a fishery. They need to look at Texas Parks and Wildlife. They're doing things right out there, and they need to take notes. I'll be back next time we come here, and hopefully the, the fishery is doing a lot better, and uh, we'll catch them a lot better. Great message. Look forward to seeing you next one. He's a seven-time classic qualifier, former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Brandon Card. At 13-15 yesterday, hot off a Super 6 finish at his seventh Bassmaster Classic. Today, 12-11, inside the top 50 in 30th place with 26 pounds, 10 ounces. So he's going fishing on semifinals Sunday. Can't thank the great community of Leesburg, Florida, our great host community here this week for everything and you find folks for coming out here for weighing and uh weighing's going to be even bigger and better tomorrow with our top 50 and you're going to be part of that yeah yeah definitely uh you know i'm i'm having fun in the morning the fish are actually biting pretty good in the morning and then probably about 10 o'clock they just shut off and uh i don't know i'm just kind of scratching my head trying to figure out what i can do from 10 to 3 but uh yeah, I'm just going to go back out there and uh, throw that top water around in the morning, try to catch a few more big ones. Uh, I want to say uh, hi to my aunt and uncle and uh, her uh, brother and sister-in-law for coming down and supporting me and uh, looking forward to going back out there tomorrow. Well, go say hello to them, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, six-time Bassmaster winner from Rathrum, Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polinick. 9-1 yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. Needs 13.12 to get inside the cut. Unfortunately, not going to happen. 6.10 with 15 pounds, 11 ounces. 93rd place. And even worse than that, there is no cut ice cream. And it seems like um, the family's getting a little restless. <laughs> it's a it's good thing it's only about an hour, hour and a half drive to St. John's. Because uh, if it was a long drive, I'd have too much time to think about it. But we're going to roll into the next one. We'll be ready for that. I had a good confidence booster today. Uh, I, I had this one area that I found in the last 30 minutes of practice, and I raced all the way back here and barely made it back the last day of practice in time. And I roll all the way down there today, and I come around the corner, and John Garrett's sitting on it. I went, huh, maybe I should have found that on day two and spent a little bit more time there. But it's... Uh, 
I mean, he's got it pretty much to himself, so it'd be cool to watch and see how, uh, how things shake out. Fun to watch. Always great to have you here. Look forward to seeing St. John's River, a three-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion from Auburn, Alabama, Steve Kennedy. 15 pounds, 9 ounces. He needs 7, 4. He's got 4 fish. He needs 7 pounds, 4 ounces. 7 pounds, 12 ounces in 48th place. Inside the cut with 23 pounds, 5 ounces. And good Lord, he needs it. His family went to Disney today. So the good news is you're inside the cut. Probably made yourself $10,000, but still probably in the hole because the family's at Disney. Yeah, I don't think they went in the park. At least I hope they didn't. I think they they didn't. said they were doing it all. Park hopper pass, everything. And did all, yeah, just throw the stuff around. I don't know what they did. I have no idea. But I'm pretty stoked to actually get to go tomorrow. I, uh, I caught a big one yesterday when I hit a four-pounder, and uh, I had my big bite today doing that figure eight, eight trap stuff for, like, ever. And she actually bit, but I didn't catch her. So, uh, like, like a figure eight that musky anglers do? Yeah, so, yeah, they do... <laughs> Yeah, so I followed a big bait to the boat, couldn't get the bait, and I was just, I'm like, let me try this, and I was just panic, and, and that guy all excited and actually bit once, but uh, I didn't catch her, so uh, I know where she is, and there's several more in there that big, and it just, they're tough to get them to go, so uh, I'm looking forward to going back out there. I'd like another shot at them. Somewhere in the world, Pete Mena is really proud of you. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. An eight-time classic qualifier, three-time U.S. Open champion from Payson, Arizona, the Golden Ram, Clifford Perch. Had 12-3 yesterday, needs 10-13 to get inside the cut here today. Needs 10 pounds, 13 ounces. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Moves into 51st place. 10 pounds, 12 ounces, one ounce short of the cut weight. 22 pounds, 15 ounces, and one short of the cut moves into 51st place. <laughs> 22 pounds, 15 ounces, that's a tough one there. I know, obviously, tough to swallow and just proven how evil the sport of fishing is. It has to happen right in front of everyone like that. Yeah, you know, they weighed 11.5 on my scale, and yesterday I weighed 12.5, and it weighed 12.5 on this scale, so I was hoping to get a reweigh. But, uh, yeah, it's not how I wanted it to go. Um, yeah, it's been a frustrating season, but I, I do love coming to Florida. This is a great place. You guys have some big old fish. It's always fun to catch giant ones. I got a big one yesterday. Uh, I want to say hi to my friends and family at home. And, uh, uh, you know, oh, hey, I got to go. Uh, we had an off day. We got canceled. I got to go to the Suzuki headquarters. First time I've been there. Really neat to see. And, uh want to say thanks to those guys. My equipment's awesome, and uh, yeah, a little disappointing tournament. Tough way to end it, but always great to have you here. Next up, we have a Florida angler, a nine-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida, Bernie Schultz. <laughs> Bernie Schultz at 414 yesterday, better day today. Going to get himself some progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. 9-2 gives you 14 pounds even. A little bit of a rally today, but um, tough one this time around. But next week, get him there, and you won't even think about this one. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, this lake's been good to me in the past, and I'm sure that we'll come back and hopefully right the ship when I do. It's, it's been a rough start of the year. You know, I, I don't really have any excuses. It's all on me, but um, hopefully things turn around next week, and and I can do something different. Sure, they'll turn around for you soon. Look forward to seeing you there. Ladies and gentlemen, i got to thank all of you for coming out here today, cheering on our anglers. That concludes our day two weigh-in. 50 anglers remain in this event. Going to leave at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Your tournament leader, Elite Series rookie, John Garrett. Behind him, two-time classic qualifier, Brad Watley. Ed Lochran, Elite Series rookie. JT Tompkins, Elite Series rookie that is leading Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, leading Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, Trey McKinney in fifth place, followed by Paul Mueller, Elite Series Rookie Tyler Williams, KJ Queen, Kyle Norsetter, and Brandon Lester rounds out your top ten. Fifty anglers on the, on the water all day tomorrow. We'll whittle it down to our top ten. They'll fish on a very rare championship Monday. Have a great evening. Enjoy being, and we'll see you 